Alrighty then, time to grill! Today we're gonna do some dry aged beef ribs. And this is why you should please stay tuned. So, what we have here is a rack of dry aged beef ribs, which is beef te, 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 beef te. First thing we need to do is to get rid of the um, the membrane. After that, you take your favorite barbecue rub and rub your beef ribs. In this case, I took um, Don Marco's Texas style barbecue rub and I added some extra peppercorns and some extra packed brown sugar and sh changed it a little bit. And after you have put on your rub, you can let it rest for at least two to three hours before putting it on the grill. So our tomato cooker is prepared with charcoal in it and then we add some extra wood chips in this case these are red wine barrel wood chips and we're gonna configure this one for indirect heat we put in the deflector plate and our grill grates and then we grill our beef ribs for around about four hours in wood smoke for 110 degrees celsius we do this low and slow and then we have a look how we have done after 3 hours. So this is how the ribs look like after 3 hours, we see the melted brown sugar and the peppercorns, really good. Then we let it um, smoke for another 1 hour till we start putting on our barbecue sauce. So now again, like um, in my St. Louis cut spare ribs video some weeks ago, we used the cherry chipotle barbecue sauce, this Canadian sauce called widely. We're gonna have a look at the bottle soon. Um, you know, we just put on our sauce, then we uh, let it rest again for another half an hour, and then we give it a second of this wonderful barbecue sauce. So here's the bottle. I found them in Cologne. So there are more sources of this company to come. I will check them out and let you know. So now our second glaze and then we have a look how we did. So as you can see it's a real great sunny day in Germany today. And 
These are really juicy and tender beef ribs. Great flavor, great combination of peppercorn, Texas style barbecue rub and this wonderful Canadian barbecue sauce. So these are my last pictures for today, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know if you like it or not, give me a thumbs up or you can contact me on my fan pages, Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook. Thanks for watching, I'm out, see you!